What are you doing? Do you want security, ain't you? Yeah, sorry. Okay, well, how are you going to shoot? The, you going to shoot the dirt? That's what it looks like. I'll be acting as the same thing I would be over there, a combat instructor. Just trying to impart knowledge on them before they go into their next location. The U.S. Army Infantry School and the Marine Corps School of Infantry recently swapped two drill sergeants for two combat instructors to learn how each service indoctrinates their new infantrymen. Come to see the differences between the basic training as well as the advanced training for the uh, Army compared to how we do it as combat instructors over on uh, Infantry Training Battalion, part of School of Infantry, to see if there's anything maybe we can bring here or take away from the difference is, be it good or bad. I tell you, his approach is pretty much the same as ours. He came right in, he fits right in with us. Day one, he got certified. We did a little certification based off of what's expected of the drill sergeant. He's treated the exact same as I'm treated, with the same respect across the company. When Sergeant Mutter arrived on Sand Hill, he hit the ground running and got right to work. And he was like, here we go. And what I like is that he came in wanting to work. A lot of guys would come in and, you know, just kind of watch. He was like, put me to work. We picked right up the next day, and he was there at 4 o'clock in the morning in my platoon bay. And uh, we're getting ready for PT. It's easy to get along. I rolled right into it the first day. I PSO'd online. It's, it's almost the exact same thing I do day-to-day -day basis in North Carolina, board Camp Geiger. So what exactly is a Marine combat instructor anyway? We are combat instructors. Drill instructors instill discipline, willing and instance obedience to orders, ensure they understand the heritage and the history behind the Marine Corps. Whereas once they become an infantryman, they come to a combat instructor, we're going to take them, mentor them, and teach them those tactics, those techniques, why it is the way we do things, how it is the way we operate. And so we'll go ahead and train them to be the best infantry they can be before they go into the fleet Marine Force. And what's the difference between drill sergeants and combat instructors? It's a big eye-opener coming here and seeing how drill sergeants at the same time can do our, both our job and our drill instructor's job and see how they can do that transition between being the strong fist and then going on to mentor the soldiers onto their specific jobs. They have a shorter time frame, so I can see how it's, it's a lot harder for them to get the information across to those soldiers before they go out. And it's a very big lateral change from then just graduating in their boot camp and staying with the exact same instructors. We went through the generalities with them, now teaching them their tactics and their, their information they need to survive a combat. And how about the differences in their training? Uh, I've seen a few differences so far, be it immediate action upon contact, on how we would differ slightly. Already our squad makeups are different, whereas we roll with 13 member. They only have two teams and we roll with three. It's small things like that, but I also can take a lot away from how they do business here in the professional manner that it is. Okay, I know you write something down. You write a T on his T on Oh, right for right what? On, okay, because we have to know exactly, correct? Yes, sir, That's okay. what the medical personnel need to understand if they're going to give him further triage, whether that arm is going to come off or they can save it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand that? Yes, sir. So what do the trainees think of Sergeant Mutter? It's been really cool. He works just like uh, another drill sergeant. He's totally integrated, but he has a different perspective. He has different, I mean, something as small as different terms for the same thing, but then different tactics, different procedures, from mag changes to how to clear weapons and clear rooms. And so it's been really neat to get a new perspective. I feel he's very sharp, very clever, more intelligent than he lets us know. Um, I believe that it's more of one of those things where when the opportunity calls for him to insert his opinion, he does, and he does it excellently. We feel very honored as 4th Platoon to have him. Once you get on the ground and the guy standing in front of you, there's no difference. There's, there's no difference across the board. His, his uniform might be a different color than mine, but we have the same care for the trainee, and we really want them to understand that way they can survive. Just do what you're supposed to at all times. Impart as much knowledge on, on them as you can. It should be about training them to the best of your abilities and further. There you go. There you go, transition between targets. Cover me as I move. Moving. Hey, bring it in. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.